problem number 10. It gives us a function. It says that xy squared plus y equals x squared minus 5. And they want us to find the slope of the tangent to the curve at the point negative 2, 1. So whenever you see slope of tangent, you should think to find the derivative. Okay, so the derivative is going to be the slope of the tangent. But notice here that we have a y squared and a y. So it's a little harder just to find the derivative because I can't get y on one side of the equation by itself. That's what you want to try to do first. But that's not possible here, so I'm going to have to use implicit differentiation. Okay, so for my first term here, I have to use product rule. So this will be product. Okay. So I do first, which is x times the derivative of y, which will be 2y times dy dx, plus second, which is y squared times the root of the first, which is 1, plus the derivative of y, which is dy dx. I do the derivative of this side and I get 2x. Okay? So this is implicit differentiation because there's y's and x's. I have to, when I take the derivative of y, I write dy dx, or you can write this y with a mark, the y prime. So I'm going to multiply this out, so I get 2xy dy dx plus y squared plus dy dx equals 2x. So now you want to get dy dx on one side of the equation. So now your goal is dy dx on one side. Okay? So I would have 2xy dy dx plus dy dx equals 2x minus y squared. Okay? So then I'm going to factor out a dy dx. So I have dy dx times 2xy plus 1 equals 2x minus y squared. Now I'm going to divide. So I have dy dx equals 2x minus y squared over 2xy plus 1. Okay. So this is equal to my slope. Now all I have to do is plug my point in from here. Okay. So I have y prime equals my x is negative 2, so I have 2 times negative 2 minus 1 squared, all over 2 times negative 2 times 1 plus 1. Okay? So I have negative 4 minus 1 over negative 4 plus 1, which is negative 5 over negative 3, which is 5 thirds. And this is choice so on number 10, they ask us, they give us a function and they say find the slope of the tangent line to the curve. So when I see slope of tangent line, I know that I have to find the derivative. Because I can't factor out a y and get y on one side and x on one side, I have to use implicit differentiation. So for the first term, though, we have to be careful that you use product rule. So I did kept the first times derivative of the second. After you take the derivative of y, you have to add in a dy dx, or just a y prime, plus second times derivative of the first. Then I did the derivative of y, which is just dy dx, and then the derivative of the other side, which is 2x. Okay, then I simplified the function. Then you want to get your dy dx on one side of your equation and your other terms on the other. You're going to factor out a dy dx and divide over, so now I have dy dx equals um, constants over there. They gave me a point, so I plug in x and y whenever I see x and y, and I get a number. 
So just be careful when you can't factor out a y that you use implicit differentiation. And this is number 10.